Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I know this isn't my usual setup. In fact, all of my usual tools are right behind me, but um, I'm having some technical difficulties on my own devices. So I wanted to make sure that we were here and we have this video before I go on vacation and before I have the time to really troubleshoot and fix all of those um, tools. So hello. If you are new to the channel, my name is Madison or Sincerely Blue Jay, and it is great to have you here. If you've been around for a while, uh, it's lovely to see you again. And How Many Drafts to Home, my third collection of poetry, is available in the world. So make sure you pick up a copy if you haven't already. And beyond all that, if you know me, you know I'm always getting into crazy challenges, and today is no exception. I am here to let you know that I have decided that starting on October 1st of this year, I will be taking on the Mill Wordy Challenge. And if you don't know what that is, it's one year to write one million words because I'm crazy. And I have a friend, not such a secret, who has been on the channel before, and they will be joining me, and it's going to be great. And we're hoping that some of you will choose to join us and to hang out and to put your skills to the test and really learn what you're capable of. I think that's the one thing artists do too often is doubt their progress and doubt their abilities. So this or any version of this challenge is a great way to see what you're capable of and to know that you are wonderful and that we are here to support you and we're all here to make ourselves better authors, creators, and uh, friends and a stronger community as well. So it is really, really great to have you here and it is amazing to get to talk to you about this challenge. And because I am always doing things in the most difficult way possible, I will actually be out of town for the first couple of days of the challenge. Um, so I won't be able to post like a hello, we're getting started kind of thing um, directly to YouTube or if I do, it'll be taken from my phone so the quality will be different. Um, but wanted to get started. I wanted to let you know what's going on. I wanted to show you what tools I'm using and I wanted to invite you to join us if you choose to do so. So without further ado, um, we have some tools that I'm going to walk you through. We've got some projects that I'm going to sort of start introducing. And the goal is once a week to come back with a progress update video and once a month to do like a project update so you can see which projects I'm favoring at the time or what my plan is. Um, and hopefully we'll get to hear about your projects as well. Um, not such a secret and I were not able to get into the same room at the, the same time right now. So we are sharing and shouting out each other's projects, but we will do collaborative efforts again very soon. Um, the, even though we are not currently in pandemic era, we both have health uh, restrictions and also limitations that we have to be aware of. So we are trying to keep each other and everyone else safe, and we are trying to put our best foot forward and to be as smart as possible with all the given tools and connections that we can. So that being said, let's go through the tools that we've got. Alrighty, so we are using these fabulous tools for the words, which has a great dashboard that lets you see all of your game stats, all of your awards. Um, it lets you see what your words of the day are, how long you've been working on different streaks, which just means writing every day. Um, it also shows you how many works you have public, so you can get feedback if you choose to. And then the most important tool that is now available on For the Words for the Mill Wordy project is that you can set an account goal. And what this goal does is it allows you to see that you're going to write 1 million words in however many days. And your goal is 2,695 words per day and how much of that goal is completed. So because I'm not starting this until the first, I know I'm not gonna be using for the words between now and the first. I have a little bit lower words per day than you'll have when you do the original or the actual challenge. I also have a little bit more time, um, but again, I'm going on vacation. So I, I wanted to make sure this was ready and prepped. And one of the things that I love about for the words is that there are challenges and quests that kind of motivate you and give you different things to go after. There's also an entire storyline that comes with quests as well. 
to keep you motivated and inspired and to give you something to gamify your big scary projects. Um, I also love this writing streak and being able to see how many days in a row I'm writing, how many words I'm writing, and uh, things of that nature. Um, you can see how many monsters you battle, what kind of monsters you typically favor, things of that nature. There's also this fabulous multiplayer option which allows you to take a big bad monster and break it down so everybody in the party is responsible for a minimum number of words, but as long as the team gets to the total number of words, it doesn't matter how those words are distributed, so it's really neat. And you can do teams of as few as two people and as many as eight. So it's really neat a way to meet people, to get engaged, and to learn about other projects and to have motivation doing your own. There are special co-op quests. So these are just a few. Um, and it is another way to stay motivated and to encourage others and to basically put your best foot forward. I love the detail in this adventure section. It allows you to see... Um, different monsters and markets and quests and you can buy different things like weapons for quests you can buy armor you can buy wings um, once you've earned them you can buy emotes which are really fun to encourage other people on the site you can get more emotes and um, wardrobe items and house housing items and all kinds of fun things come over to your writing and you can actually customize what your writing page looks like. So let's say I personally do really well when I have an engaging background color. So that's why I have this like lavendery mint, uh, lavendery kind of color. You can also change your text uh, style. You can change your text size, your margins, your line height, whatever you need to. You can also change your font color. So for me, I've got this <clears throat> really nice dark purple on this lavender color and it's really good um also something that you can see about this is that you have a word tracker so it tells you how many words are in the document and an active time counter so how much time you're actively spending writing which i think is really really neat um personally i can't wait to see how long it actually takes to write a million words i know i've got a year for the challenge but how much actual writing time is that and that's super exciting to me. Also, this little check is your best friend. He tells you that your work is saved so that you don't go switching tabs or anything and losing some of your words because that does occasionally happen with a web-based site like For the Words. If you would like to add me on For the Words, you can do so at Sincerely B, or you can use my referral code so that you can get some fun goodies in game. Either way, it's really exciting and I'd love to have you. The other thing that I want to walk you through is this mill wordy tracker. So this is a spreadsheet. I am not a spreadsheet person. Um, not such a secret has already done some work and has adjusted it so that it starts on October 1st. So you don't have to go messing around with your dates. And I've gone in and put in the projects that I want to work on. So that's really nice and really helpful. I do want to color coordinate this and make this a little prettier for my own taste. Um, but it's helpful. So it shows you that you've got how many words written, what your monthly goal is, what your daily goal is, um, and it shows you when you're projected to be done. Um, there's also this, which is editing is worth as many words as an hour as you can write in an hour. So it gives you the opportunity to put in an accurate word count, so how many words you type in an hour, so that you can include your editing time in your mill wordy challenge. If you edit, this is really, really important to have an accurate number so that you are giving yourself the best foot forward and you are also giving yourself an honest understanding of what you're doing and how much time and effort you're putting into your projects. So I highly recommend doing that as accurately as you can. And then this is the focused view, which allows you to put in your projects. So I know that I'm going to write general poetry. Um, I just released how many drafts to home. So I know there's going to be another collection coming out. And I know there's another big project that I'm going to be undertaking. There's obviously Camp NaNoWriMo in April, Camp NaNoWriMo in July. Of course, we're doing NaNoWriMo this October, uh, November. And of course, I've got this other crazy project, 24 Prompts is all you get to know about it, but it's coming your way in a couple of years. It's very different from what I normally do, and I am very, very excited to be creating this. So what you do is you say, I'm writing general poetry today. I've written 1,280 
five words. <clears throat> I am working on collection four. I have written 854 words. It's not April. It's not July. It's not Nano. I might have written 14 words towards this 24 word 24 prompts project. Um, so I put in my words and the counter tells us that I am at 2,153 words for the day, which is really helpful. And then if you want, you can go to this line chart and it'll show you that I am currently behind schedule. But if you write 750 words a day, you'll be finished at this time. If you write 500 words a day, you'll be finished at this time. And if you stick to the current goal of 2000 something words every day, you will finish obviously on time. So it's really cool. And then there's daily totals. So you can see that by a certain date, you should be at a certain total. So you can see if you're on track ahead of schedule or falling a little bit behind. Don't worry if you're falling behind though. Most of us, as we know, will sit down and we'll have words where we knock, or days where we knock out lots of words and ideas. And we have days every now and then that we don't knock out as many. Everything ebbs and flows in life. Don't worry, it's gonna be okay. You can still achieve this goal or modify it to a challenge that works better for you. So it's very cool that we have this and it shows us that we have written today, but we're not quite on track, um, which is good to know. So the last thing I want to show you, excuse me, the last thing I want to show you on here is that I am the kind of person who will go to For the Words and will customize my hero. So depending on what I'm working on, <clears throat> my hero will look a little different. This is a cosmetic thing. This is a fun thing. This is not a must have thing. This is not a you have to do this, whatever. It is quite literally just for fun. So we recently had an event that was alien-esque. And so that's where this crazy character came from. Um, if we remove all items and we start from scratch, Let's give her some pretty hair. Let's do the simple braid. Let's do these void ears, regular eyes. <clears throat> let's do do a witch's hat and get rid of the ears. Let's give them regular face and some makeup. Do something a little less creepy. We'll take all the pets. Alrighty, so now we've got this really cute, goofy character. So this is just a fun thing that I like to do, and I'll change my character every month just to kind of um, get in the spirit of things and, and be goofy and have fun. But I wanted to share it with you because it is another way to like take a break from writing temporarily but a way to be engaged and on a platform that houses your writing. So when you have ideas, all you have to do is pop into your writing tab and pick your file and go for it. So I am super, 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 super excited about this Mo Wordy challenge. I hope you are too. And I will see you again on October 1st with more information. And if you decide to join, please let us know in the comments below. Happy writing, everyone. I'll see you.